What's up guys, Alex from FIFA Scouting Tips here and welcome to part 4 of my FIFA 16 scouting guide. Today I'm going to be looking at how you can spot the best players on your scouting reports, whether overall or potential is more important and whether or not you can glitch players potentials like you could in FIFA 15. The first thing you'll notice when you open up your scout's monthly report is that he doesn't have much of an idea how good the players are, everything is a little vague. Uh, as with last year, the players won't have a solid overall potential or list of strengths, it's all a series of ranges like this. If you're not sure about a player, you can leave him on the report and your scout will look at him for another month, at which point these ranges will have narrowed down a little bit. However, there is one very easy way to tell exactly how good your players are, just sign them to the Youth Academy. That way they'll get an exact number for their overall and all their stats like this, but not their potential, uh, although that does continue to narrow down over time. This means that if you're not sure about a player, you can save your game, sign them to the academy and see what they're like, then reload your save and either sign or reject them based on what you thought. It's much quicker than waiting a few months for your scout to get a better idea of what the player is like. You can wait for your scout to narrow down the player's overall and potential ranges, but the risk is another team might come in and poach the player. To avoid this, make sure you're saving often. If you then get a message saying that a player has been signed to another club, just reload your save and advance again. Because the message is random, the chances are that it won't come up again. Next, I want to look at whether overall or potential is more important and what a good overall is to look out for. Back in FIFA 15, I said that potential was by far the most important thing to look out for, and this was because the May update would massively increase a youth player's overall if he had high potential, even if they started with low overall like this player here. Now, EA have removed the May update from the game and youth players grow month to month just like first team players. This means that you can't count on that boost helping players with low overalls to grow quickly. Because youth players don't grow so suddenly once a year anymore, you have to work a lot harder to help them grow. And because of that, it helps if they start with a decent overall. So a 17 year old with around 40 overall, but high potential like this probably isn't going to be worth it because he'll need so many points to grow just to meet his potential. So as a rough guide, I wouldn't advise signing players with overalls lower than the following. 15 year old players with 45 overall, 16 year old players with 50 overall and 17 year old players with 55 overall even if they have good potential because it's just going to be so much growth that they need to get. If you find players with an overall 10 points higher than these at their respective ages like a 17 year old player with 65 overall then you found a seriously good player. So it is very different from FIFA 15 where you could find a 16 year old player with 75 overall for example but then again EA have tweaked player stats so you're more likely to find fast players even if their technical stats aren't very good, so that can help overcome a lower overall. In terms of potential, it seems this year players can have higher potential ranges than in FIFA 15. So last year the maximum was 90 to 94, but it seems that this year it can go up to 93 to 94. And if you see a player on your reports with an upper potential value in the 90s, like this guy's here with 69 to 93, keep scouting him as he could be a very very good player, with potential in the mid 70s and possibly early 80s, so he could be worth signing up. Any player with a lower potential value in the 70s, like this guy here with 74 to 94, is definitely worth signing, as they'll probably end up with potential in the 80s at the very least. As in FIFA 15, there is a way in game to see your youth players' future potentials. Once they're promoted, go to the squad tab, then go to the squad report screen. Find the promoted youth player you're interested in and look under the status heading in the top right corner. If he has 80 potential or above, he'll have a status relating to his potential and it'll either be showing great potential, which means that the player has between 80 and 85 potential, an exciting prospect like this guy here, it means that he has between 86 and 90 potential, or has potential to be special, which means that he has potential of 91 or higher. If the player doesn't have one of these statuses and it just says something like at the club since 2017, that means that his potential is under 80. As well as this, your youth player has to have an overall of 60 or above to get one of these messages, and once he's 22 or older, the status will disappear. However, neither of these events mean that his potential has changed, it just means that the game won't give you a hint as to what it is until his overall hits 60 and before he turns 22. Another big question is whether you can still boost or glitch a youth player's potential, because in FIFA 15, there was a problem with promoting youth players in that it could randomise a player's potential. This was especially disappointing if you had a player with huge potential in your academy like this player, and who then got promoted and didn't get a potential status uh, after promotion, because it meant that his potential had been randomised and it was now less than 80. It could work the other way though, so you could massively glitch your player's potential so that it was much higher than it looked in the academy. But in FIFA 16, EA seemed to have taken this potential randomising out of the game when you promote youth players. So 
So I tested several 60 overall players again and again. Each time their potential status was exactly the same. I wasn't able to get them to have any different potentials, lower or higher. This is good and bad in a way because it means that while you now can't boost your player's potential to epic proportions, it does at least give you a bit more certainty that when you promote a promising player, they're not going to end up a complete dud. It also gives you more confidence in players with high potentials but overalls below 60. Like this player here, he has 91 to 94 potential. He's going to come out with has potential to be special. It's one of the highest potential ranges you can get, but his overall range is lower than 60 because in FIFA 15, there was no way to know what their potential was because their overall was less than 60 and they would not get a potential status. So you just have to pray that they are good until they hit 60 overall, at which point you would know. This could mean a lot of wasted time developing a player who may not even get a potential status. But in FIFA 16, if you have a player with 53 overall but at least 91 potential like this player, you know he's worth keeping because he will come out with the same potential every time and it will match the one that he has in the academy. So even though he won't have a potential status until he's grown to 60 overall, you know he's still worth keeping. However, you can boost your youth players' potentials after you've promoted them. You just need to loan them out and then recall them, and their potential can change that way, just like it could in FIFA 15. That's it for part 4 of my FIFA 16 scouting guide. Hopefully now you have a better idea of how to spot good players on your youth reports, uh, what makes a good overall, and whether or not you can glitch potentials when you promote your youth players. If you have found out anything interesting on this topic while you've been doing your own scouting, make sure you let me know in the comments because it's always interesting to see what you guys have been doing with FIFA 16. Uh, don't forget also the Scouting God contest this month is on the best potentials in FIFA 16. The players can be in any position. Uh, make sure you send a picture of that when the player is in the Youth Academy so we can still see the potential range. Uh, you can send that picture to at FIFA Scouting on Twitter using the hashtag Scouting God or you can submit it to facebook.com slash FIFA Scouting Tips or you can leave a link to the image in the comments below or you can submit it on FIFA Scouting Tips.com. Loads of different ways of doing that. That will end at the end of October so you've still got plenty of time left on that one. Uh, please do keep all your comments and suggestions coming. I'm always looking to do new stuff on this channel and uh, start up new things. Uh, make sure you also leave a like if you enjoyed this video and thanks for watching. Good opportunity but again another massive bong hit after the last game. Bong getting a huge elbow in the face there. I don't know what it is about him but he seems to be a marked man.